Hello, this is Susan Kelmer. I wanted to talk to you today about um, how to use Calibre or Caliber. I've heard it pronounced both ways. It's a free program you can use to uh, convert an EPUB or other types of books to another type of format. And you might wonder why we'd want to do that. Um, but students who may be using a uh, text-to-speech reader may prefer uh, the interface of a PDF over the interface of an EPUB. Uh, for example, text um, uh, text helps read and write can uh, manage an ebook, uh, an EPUB book, and allow students to navigate to chapters, but Kurzweil cannot. So it has a difficult time opening the entire book so that a student student can actually navigate it. So uh, there are plenty of times when I'm turning an EPUB into a PDF document. So in order to do this, um, I have to have the, the EPUB available. So I'm going to um, load it here into Calibre. This is what Calibre looks like. Um, pretty straightforward. And you can see there's a convert button here. But I need to add the book in first. So I'm going to add the EPUB that I'm working with. And this process does not take very long at all. Um, pretty quick actually to get it done. Um, some books, if they're really long, can take, you know, 10 minutes or so to convert, but that's fine. I, it'll run while I'm doing other things. So this is my EPUB and I'm going to go ahead and open this. And it's going to go ahead and import it in here. So this is a book called Real Communication by Dan O'Hare. Um, and I can't, I have converted this one before, so I know it works. Um, so Calibre is a free download. I'll have the link in, uh, in the description for you to go out and get Calibre. Uh, simple little program. It does update fairly often. So there's plenty of times when I open it and it will ask if I'm ready to install an update. I will tell you that most of the time, if it's saying there's an update, you should probably go ahead and do that update. If you want to update at other times, you can actually find it under, well, let's see here, um, should be under the help files, but you can always update it uh, if you need to update it and haven't done so. Um, if it gets too far behind in the updates, it won't convert the file that you want it to, to convert. So um, I have my file here and I do want to convert it and I'm going to convert just this one book, but you see how you could you can do a bulk. So if I had several books here, I could I could bulk convert them um, all at the same time. I'm just going to convert this one. And my window has expanded here. I'm going to try to pull that back in. So this is the convert window. Um, I can see that the book is there and it is coming in as an EPUB. So that's my input format. Output format is by default EPUB, which makes me laugh. But I need to change this to something else. <laughs> so for me, I'm going for PDF. But you can see you can actually convert this into a Mobi book, into a DocX. Um, I actually haven't tried the DocX. I don't think it's a full OCR, but it might be. Uh, it might be fun to play around with. But I really just want to turn it into a PDF because I'm going to break it into chapters to give to a student who's using a text-to-speech reader, in this case, Kurzweil. So I'm going to select PDF from the menu. And once I've done that, I'm ready to go. It will save it out into its own folder location. So when it's done, I'll have to open it from that location. And I will cover that at the end of this video. So I'm going to say OK here. And you notice down here, it's showing me that there's a job in progress. And this is where we're going to wait. So I might go off and do something else and come back to it uh, once it's done. So again, it takes a few minutes to do that. Just be prepared for that. Okay, so this conversion took about four minutes to get done, and once it was done, I can see that it's done because the jobs says zero. It shows what it did over here, so it, it converted this real communication book that is now an EPUB and a PDF. So I'm going to click to open because it's going to actually take me to that folder where it's actually at, and that's great because it doesn't put it where I originally had the file. So I need to make sure that I'm moving it to where I want it to be once it's open. So that's how I open them later. I just do that path, click to open, to open this file. And so now I actually have a PDF of this book. I'm going to shrink that up so you can see it here. Um, so we do have the whole book as a PDF. And I can go through this PDF now 
and treat it as I do any other PDF, go ahead and break it into chapters or whatever I want to do with it. Um, the only thing you'll notice is that with an EPUB, there are no page numbers, um, and that's normal actually for a, uh, an EPUB. There aren't any page numbers, but at least you have all of the text, everything is here, and it is it is an accessible document because the EPUB was accessible. accessible. Uh, Calibre also converts it to an accessible document. It will not have all the tags and things in place, but for a student using um, a text-to-speech engine, that is not as important as somebody using a uh, screen reader. So that's your quick fix for turning an EPUB into a PDF um, so you can then work with it as a normal PDF. Thanks for watching.